Okay, Craig Spider Richards, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Listen, it's all been going really well for, for Willie Hutchinson, right? This re rejuvenation, this hutch train up at light heavyweight. And then along came a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I thought to use that. Like, yeah. How are you feeling about this fight? I'm feeling good, feeling confident, feeling ready. Um, doesn't matter to me who's on the other side of the ring. We prepared diligently and we go and get the job done. Whole new setup for you now. You're, you're in the McGuigan gym as well. Yeah. What has that brought out of you? Oh, so much. As I said, I've been at the top of the level of the sport and coming up short by percentages, you know, 140, 115, 130, 115 against Dimitri Bivol. And I thought, where can I get the extra 3%? And now I'm looking, I've got an extra 30, 40% to go by what Shane's been showing me and teaching me. I didn't realise I had so much to improve on. So, yeah, it's been exciting now moving gyms. It doesn't sound like great news for Willie Hutchinson in Queensbury, to be honest. <laughs> it ain't going to be, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> you know, I heard he's confident, but that doesn't matter. We've been here before. I've been in loads of grudge matches. I've beat loads of unbeaten fighters, 14-0, 12-0, 10-0, et cetera. The list goes on. But So I've seen fighters like him many times. Um, I just know I've got a job to do and I know what it takes and what I need to do to compete. You refer to you as a, a big, good, durable guy. Mm -hmm. Is that a, a fair kind of a round up of Craig Spider Richards, former world title challenger, former British champion? You know, a lot of people said that whether it's be sparring or fighting, that they kind of didn't see too much special about me, like how you sum it up there until they've got in the ring with me and it was like oh it's a whole different experience actually in there with you than what I expected watching you so I don't take much from it um as I was saying I've been in grudge matches where people say you're simple you're dish your footwork's this you're that da -da -da, and I laugh and once you dispatch them you're like what's your review now oh, sorry that was a different experience <laughs> so yeah so it doesn't matter it talk as they say talks cheap we're going to get in there June the 1st and we're going to see what happens. Um, you've spent a bit of time around him now. Uh, he, he has said a few things at the press conference. I think he could have gone on for hours, to be honest, when he, when he gets going. You've done a face-off as well. You went for dinner, not just you and him, but like with, yeah. with everyone as well. What, what have you sensed from being around him? Um, young, immature. Um, I feel a lot... Of, he's never, you can tell he's never been on an occasions. I haven't been on an occasion this big, but I've been a lot of, involved with a lot of big occasions. Um, so he hasn't got really much composure um, at the moment. He's just saying silly things, um, acting out a little bit. But I think that's from his nervous energy. Um, he's trying to overcompensate that by trying to act overconfident. But you're showing how nervous you are when you're doing too much. But I'm not going to take too much from it. Um, if he's nervous, he may even work harder. Who knows? But I don't take much from him. You're quite a conflicting kind of characters in that sense. You are cool, calm, collected. You ain't going to be acting out at any presses. Did you do a face-off with, with Frampton as well? Today? Yeah, yeah. How did that go? That's what I'm saying. He was acting yeah. out, saying silly things, trying to be funny, but you can probably tell it's not his character. I personally think um, he's naturally probably a quiet introvert guy and he's trying to portray himself to be different and saying silly things, oh, I'm a road man, da 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 road men don't tell you they're a road man. So it's just like, bro, just relax, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> You're getting overexcited. Um, yeah, I don't really take much from him. Were you, when this whole 5v5 was talked about, Eddie made it pretty clear from the start that you were going to be his pick. Yeah. Were you expecting it to be a Willie Hutchinson or did you think it would be someone else? I didn't think it would be Willie Hutchinson, to be fair. Um, I know they've got loads of good light heavyweights on that side, so I would just like, whoever they pick, they pick. Um, that's none of my business. i just got to prepare for whoever comes up. I heard a few names over the time, and then eventually I heard last name I heard was it was going to be Willie Hutchinson. Obviously, I haven't really watched him before, but okay. I went on YouTube, looked at a couple of clips. I thought, oh, okay, cool. Kind of see what he does here. Cool. And we went from there. What does he do? Um, he's looked all right um, in fights, especially the, the oppositions he's boxed. He's looked good at doing what he does to them. Um, he's got a little bit of skills here and there. Um, he's not rubbish. You can see he's got a good amateur pedigree. Um, he's a decent fighter. Um, obviously, yet again, it's always different at the level what you're doing it at. And I don't think he's been at this level. But yet again, this is time to try and prove himself and show that he, what he can do at this level. So I won't take too much from that. But... I don't think he's been here before and I don't think I'm them guys he's done that to either. You're on a card with Dimitri Bivol, uh, a guy that you have history with, a guy 
the fight between him and you gets brought up a lot as a kind of a reason to why Bivol could lose because look at the success Craig Richards had if he was a bit more confident that yeah. night he could have won uh, how often is that on your mind that fight and even just like seeing him yesterday yeah well we cracked joke about it yesterday and I said well you pick a hold of belts you know who's coming first for you you know we laughed we said yeah we'll see each other down the line or whatever but um he's a nice guy really um but I know for myself that I wasn't going through the gears at times. Obviously, I was probably scoring them wrong. And it was a bit of complacency. And this is what I say of experience where you're just thinking, oh, I'm probably nicking a few rounds here and there. I'll press on a little bit more as the rounds go on. It's only when I got to the ninth, someone said to me, you need to win two of the last three to win this. I said, what? I said, I'll just win all three if it's that close. And obviously, that's why I pressed them and just won all three. And I thought, yeah, that must be enough now. Then I was still half a round short and one round short. I was like, oh, if I knew that even just one more round before, I would have went through the gears before that. And it's a rough and smooth situation to the point that, like, you never went through the gears and put your, like, put everything on the line. Like, you wasn't boxing out of your skin and you've come short, so it's frustrating because you're like, if I did, then I could have probably got that over the line. But then at the same time, it shows that you didn't even box out of your skin and you was that close to beating one of the best pound for pounds by a round or half a round. So it's just like you've got more to give, but next time you can't afford to let that happen. Next time you need to be going through them gears and you need to be showing him everything you got and leaving it in there to make sure you pick up that, that gold. Do you feel this version now of Craig Richards, where you're talking about you, you've added 30, 40 percent being in the McGuigan camp? Does that this version beat Dimitri Bivol? Yeah, 100 percent, 100 percent. Because this Craig now would destroy that Craig. So if that Craig was close with him then, then I know that I could do the same with these guys. And that's what it's about now, kind of showing what I've learned and a new version of me. And it's one thing doing it in the gym. Obviously, I'm now having more success with. I brought in a lot of old sparring partners that I sparred then to sparring now and the success level is completely different but it's one thing doing it in the gym, it's about implicating it on the night and that's for me, myself, I want to make sure and try to do what I'm doing in the gym now on fight nights. So it's an important night for myself. Well if you're talking about uh, this version beating Bivol, I guess this version beats Willie Hutchinson too. 110%. Right? This version should beat Willie, no ifs, no buts, um, no trouble. I'm not going to take him lightly, but I know what I need to do to get myself ready. Tell me about the uh, the team spirit over at Matchroom. It looks like I've seen the photos, I've seen Eddie hyping you guys up as well. It looks like good fun over there. What, what's yeah. it like? Oh, it's brilliant. You know, these are all top fighters, you know. So to be in the mix and being around it, we're all like, although boxing's an individual sport, we're all fighters who can relate to each other with the same goal. And they're all ambitious and they want to win and they want to push on for world on a small race, um, world champion now. You've had um, John T. Wilder, who's been world champion. And then obviously the rest of us is trying to knock on that door to get to that level. So we're all on the same mission, if that makes sense. So, yeah, the energy is great and we all just want to go out and win. It's going to be such a shame for you guys when you lose. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> Craig, uh, been a pleasure speaking to you. Yeah, Lovely you to meet as well. you, my friend. Oh, oh, one thing. Dev. You know what I'm going to say. You pulled me up on it in the lift. He didn't want to give me none of my accolades on my announcement yesterday. None of my... Do you know what? We can do it now. You can, you can reintroduce me today because you missed it on my you know, presser. I, I actually... I had it written down. I don't know what happened as to why I didn't... I think, I think you saw Matram at the top of the list and just <laughs> cancelled everything. Well, I gave Wilder everything. I yeah. was hoping him right up. Okay. Yeah. Well, can, can we go okay. again now? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former... British light heavyweight champion, the former WBA continental light heavyweight champion, the former Southern Area super middleweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. And former WBA international light heavyweight champion too. Did, did you defend it? Nah, I don't... Look, we're, we ain't counting that one. Oh! Great. Spider <laughs> Richards! Come on. Come on. Good speaking <laughs> nice to you. Nice to meet you, mate.